I've been shooting a dandy little rifle out here for the past few days. It's a uh, GSR 5.56, which is a gun sight scout rifle uh, from Ruger. Now this is different from the uh, 762 I've been shooting because 762 is 308. This was in 5.56. The 308 version came out oh, a couple of three years ago, been really popular for Ruger. A lot of people love them, and it's good reason. It's uh, relatively light, it's handy. This one weighs in, I think, about 7 pounds, 15 ounce, with this uh, empty. 10 round steel uh, accurate mag in here, uh, which that's one good thing. It usually uses these fine magazines, they work really well. And uh, I'll leave that out for a minute. Holds 10 rounds, it'll uh, accept other magazines, but it's got a gray laminated stock on here, just like the other uh, gun sight scout rifles have. And the concept of a scout rifle was uh, when Jeff Cooper uh, he really promoted this several years ago, it was a good bolt action rifle with a forward mounted scope on it here. And this has got the rail on it if you want to mount a scope out here. I prefer a scope mounted back where closer to my eye over the receiver because um, the original concept was that way you could easily load the magazine from the top by having your scope setting out here. Um, with this one with a detachable magazine, that's not a problem. You just pop in another mag and you're ready to go. The scope I got on here is a fine scope for a rifle like this because you can leave it set on one power Leave both eyes open if you want to, and get a good, quick sight picture. Of course, it mounts in, in your standard uh, Ruger rings that come with it. This is 30 millimeter, so it comes with one inch rings. Uh, you can buy 30 millimeter rings if you want them. This uh, scope is a VX6. It's a one to six power loophole, and it's got a illuminated reticle. Works really well for something like this in all lighting conditions or whatever. Uh, this comes with a uh, aperture rear sight on it that is adjustable. You got a protected front side on it right here. You got the little wings on the side of that blade to protect it. Got a good flash suppressor on it. Uh, this one's got a 16 and a 10th inch barrel. It's a hammer forged barrel. Shoots really well. Uh, one in eight twist, so it'll stabilize bullets from anywhere from about 40 grains up around 77 grains. Shoots really well. This particular rifle, uh, this is the only one of these I've shot. This one loves 69 grain stuff. The Buffalo Boar 69 grain, Black Hill 69 grain, Corbon 69 grain. All those shoot really well out of this rifle. I'll uh, get some good velocities. It's got uh, one thing I want to show you here on your uh, butt plate on this. It comes with extra spacers so you can adjust the length of pull on your rifle and the overall length. So if you're wearing a body armor or whatever you're wearing or your stance, a lot of times that matters. You know a lot of hunters, check this, uh, a lot of hunters were taught to stand bladed to the target like this but for a fighting rifle they take many places to stand facing your target like this, just like you'd fight with any gun or your hands or whatever. When you do, you need a shorter stock because of the way you're holding the gun. So you can adjust this down where it gives you a good short handy stock where you can get on your target like you need to. And it's a fine shooting rifle. By the time you see this video, um, which will be approximately a week from now, uh, these guns are shipping right now. So your dealer will be able to get you one as soon as you see this video and read this review. The guns will be in stock, or if your dealer don't have one on the shelf, he can get one because they're shipping to distributors right now. So they'll have them ready to ship out to your dealer so you can get to one of these rifles. Uh, it's got, of course, got sling swivel studs on it, as should any hunting rifle. Uh, it's really got nice trigger pull on it. Comes in on this one about four and a quarter pounds. And it is an adjustable trigger, Ruger's adjustable trigger. It's a fine rifle. It's a, Relatively lightweight. Like I said, it weighs 7 pounds, 15 ounces, but the way this thing balances, it feels lighter than that. It feels about a pound lighter in my hand, but it's a really good rifle. It's easy to use. It's a lot more accurate than I thought it'd be. You know, I, I told one of the guys at Ruger, they're going to ruin my reputation because when I report to groups this thing shot, it's almost unbelievable. I couldn't believe it. I put this six power scope on it. I thought, well, I'll get some decent groups of that on there. I didn't use my big 25 power blue pole like I used to do, but I had some good, uh, good sized uh, aiming points on my target, and uh, it shot as as tight with the buffalo bore logs uh, down to a quarter inch groups, three shot groups at a hundred yards, which was almost unbelievable to me. Cause I looking through the scope, I couldn't see my bullet holes, but when I looked through the spot and scope, there's just some incredible groups coming out of this. Other uh, uh, Corbon shot some groups less than a half inch, uh, and let me tell you this, when I started shooting it, it wasn't, it wasn't as accurate as that. It was plenty accurate. It was shooting like a, in the one minute range at uh, 50 and 100 yards. But uh, as the, the 
barrel got a few rounds through the bore, started shooting better like many times happens. So if you, if you buy a rifle, any rifle, you put it on the bench first thing, if it don't shoot like you think it should, give it a few shots. It's like a, like seasoning a good iron skillet. You know, the more you shoot it, the better it gets. As long as you don't let the fouling build up too bad. A lot of people put a lot of uh, emphasis on breaking in a barrel properly. They'll, they'll fire one shot, clean the bore, fire two shots, clean the bore, circle it three times under a full moon while they're chanting something and think it makes it shoot better. It's a piece of steel. If it's a good piece of steel, it's going to shoot right. If it's not, no amount of magic is going to make it shoot any better. This has got a good barrel on here where the hammer forged their barrel. They do a great job. Fine shooting rifle. And if you uh, if you like the concept of a scout rifle and you don't want the 308, this is a good alternative. Uh, 5.56 or 223 will shoot both these. It's readily available. It's uh, relatively cheap, plentiful. It's easy to find just about anywhere. And uh, the tactical magazines makes it a good uh, a good rifle to keep around. It's light, handy, reliable, and it's a Ruger. 100% made in the USA, as are all Ruger firearms.